Hey everyone, yesterday was the day of chaos here in Gdynia, Poland on day two of the ICF 22 Surf World Championship. Michael Booth, just like Conor Baxter the day before, picked up his second world title in the long distance. He took the lead very early, managed to get away from Titouan Puyo and from Clement Comas, who were on the chase throughout the one hour and 20 or so minutes of the race. He made it back to uh, the finish line and he, uh, we found a very emotional Michael Booth uh, at the finish line. Well done to him. It was in the women's also a big, big race between mainly four women. Amandine Chazot had an amazing start, but Juna Gordillo took the lead very, very early. It took about two and a half laps for Esperanza Barreras to catch up with the Spanish champion. We had in the end two Spanish champion women at the top. Esperanza Barreras picked up her first ICF world title followed by Duna Gordia and in third, Melanie Lafrenet, Amandine Chazo unfortunately had to settle for fourth place. It looks like we are underway. We are finally underway for the men's long distance, men's and 40 plus uh, long distance race. Please, Look at that energy he still has after an hour and 22 minutes. He is flying now to the, to the uh, finish line. So Michael Booth took an early lead, is still leading, but is being chased by two very experienced downwinders, Clément Colmas and Titouan Puyo. Where is Titouan Puyo? Is that Titouan Puyo on the right hand side making a move? Yes, there is a battle. There is a battle going on right now between Michael Booth and Titouan Puyo. is in first place. He has been from the beginning Let's for the him. past. Watch him catch this wave, folks. He will get on board this wave and it will carry him in towards the shore. Look at him go, folks. There is your surf ski. Uh, training all those years of riding. Look at that. He's loving that. He's got it. He's got it. There he Michael is. Booth off. has got the gold medal. Okay, we believe that we're going to have... Off you go, Matthew. Go like the wind, my friend. Make the wind your friend, as Demis Roussos once sang. Michael Booth punches the air. Look at the well-wishers there. High-fiving him as he charges down towards the finish line. Michael Booth heading there, arms in the air. He is going to get to the finish line. Michael Booth crosses the line now. He is your 2022 world champion, folks. Hey, everybody. I am here with Michael Booth, our brand new distance men's world champion. What do you have to say about that race out there today? Well, it was fantastic, I guess, coming away with the win. Um, it, it was really tough going out through the end of the win, but... That's kind of Perth conditions, so I've been training a lot in that type of conditions, and uh, just over the moon, just like taken away with emotions a little bit at the end of that race. So, um, just thanks to everybody back home, um, to Christy and Bailey, for allowing me to do this. So, it means a lot. You've been training so hard. You've been doing so much with the community. You've got a brand new family. I know there's so many people. Your dad's here on the beach. Your mom's at home. Everybody is so proud of you. The whole sport is so proud of you. Congratulations for your efforts, and thank you for always paddling so beautifully out there. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks to uh, all my sponsors, to Shore and Partners, to Starboard, by Kobe, BMG, uh, all my athletes on booth training. Um, I just couldn't do it without you. And um, just thanks to everybody watching at home, ICF, and everybody put these great events on. I'm um, just so stoked to be here and so stoked to have a win. Absolutely. You deserve it. Congratulations. Posting, though, this has been a very impressive race from this experienced Spanish paddler. She sat second for the first half of the race, made her move with about half, here we go, half, half of the race to go and really has defied running down. Here and she goes now. Got... She is cruising into the finish line. Look at that big smile. Esperanza Barrera. She's got it. She's got that world title. The long distance. Don't it fall in the hole. Don't go. Oh, she's falling. <laughs> Ross, Ross, please. We're talking about the world you champion. You've got to put a sign up there. She is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone someone now should tell them, guys, avoid that one. But Esperanza. What a champion. I'm standing here with Espe Barreras, your brand new 2022 world champion. ¿Cómo te fue esa carrera? How was it? Oh, I still don't believe it. It was super hard at the beginning. I need my time to take the rhythm. 
but uh, in the second lap I feel more comfortable, I feel faster in the upwind and I try to close the gap with the second with Duna and once I was in front I, I became paddling uh, faster, I was enjoying a lot the downwind, I, I get the rhythm uh, in, in the third uh, lap and at the end I just uh, don't, I didn't see back, I just go through ba 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 and finally I could take the win, super happy. Well, you've earned it. She's been training so hard. You train so hard back home with your whole crew. You've got an amazing community of paddlers here and throughout Spain as well. So, I mean, a world title. You deserved it. You earned it. Tell us a little bit about everybody else that was racing that you've trained with. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I have to say congrats to everyone because it was uh, really hard. And I would like to say thank you to my coach, my family and my friends who are supporting me all the time. <laughs> Well, she deserved it. Huge congratulations. I'm super proud of her. It was hard. I mean, she was sitting in second for a lot of the race, and Duna had an incredible race as well. So a big congratulations to her. But right now, it's Espe Barreras, our new world champion. Thank you very much. Thanks.